Did you know there is a country where you can travel without clothes? Welcome to Montenegro, the hidden gem of the Balkans. Montenegro is a place filled with sunshine, beauty, and over 290 kilometers of coastline. Despite its small size, with fewer than 700,000 residents, Montenegro welcomes over 1 million tourists each year. In Montenegro, you can wander along the beaches without needing to wear clothes and without anyone batting an eye. What's more enticing? This place boasts spectacular natural landscapes from the sparkling Adriatic coast to majestic mountain ranges, deep mountain gorges, and quaint ancient towns. Montenegro is not only an ideal destination for nature lovers, but also a paradise for those who appreciate history and culture. It preserves ancient historical heritage, from fortresses to grand churches. Let's explore this nation together. In Montenegro, the search for the talent to lie still for the longest originated from the resort village of Brezna. Duka Katic, 38 years old, set the record for lying still for 117 hours in the 2021 competition. The competition was launched 12 years ago to mock the stereotype that Montenegrins are lazy. Held annually in Brezna, on the outskirts of Nixic, the second largest city in Montenegro, the competition offers prize money proportional to the number of hours the player performs. Contestants are not allowed to stand or sit, but must maintain a lying position. Violating these rules results in immediate disqualification. Participants are allowed to go to the bathroom once every eight hours for 10 minutes. They can read books and use mobile phones and laptops, but must do so lying down. Montenegro is renowned for its majestic natural beauty and its relaxed, friendly atmosphere. This atmosphere is vividly reflected in its optional clothing beaches, where travelers can freely enjoy the natural beauty without being constrained by dress codes. Jazz Beach near Budva is a perfect destination for nude bathing, famous for its crystal clear waters and stunning natural beauty. Another suggested spot is Zenska Plaza Beach, a secluded location near the town of Olchinji. It is one of the most famous nude beaches in Montenegro, known for its golden sands and peaceful atmosphere. It's a beach exclusively for women, and even boys are not allowed. While nude photography is generally accepted at Montenegro's nude beaches, there are still rules and regulations to adhere to, such as no unauthorized photography, no acts of sexual harassment, and no staring or making inappropriate comments. When you set foot in Montenegro, you'll be welcomed with warm smiles and hearty handshakes, a common greeting that shows respect and friendliness. Montenegrins are known for their simple and laid-back lifestyle, which is also reflected in how they deal with time. Meetings often start late, and activities unfold in a free and flexible manner. To truly immerse yourself in the relaxed atmosphere of Montenegro, remember the saying, don't hurry, you're on vacation. Montenegrins cherish freedom and independence, and often spend their free time engaging in outdoor activities like hiking, mountain climbing, and kayaking. They take great pride in their cultural and historical heritage, and are always happy to share stories and traditions with tourists. Montenegrin cuisine unfolds like a treasure chest with delicately blended Mediterranean flavors. Travelers will immerse themselves in a symphony of colorful dishes where lamb, beef, pork, and poultry are crafted into culinary masterpieces. One must-try dish is pasulj, a traditional Montenegrin bean soup made with white beans, beef or lamb, carrots, onions, and spices. Montenegro also boasts baklava, a sweet pastry filled with nuts and made from thin layers of phyllo dough and tufa hija, baked apples stuffed with walnuts and raisins topped with honey and cinnamon. If you enjoy wine, try Montenegro's most famous red wine, Vranak, with a rich, mildly bitter flavor, or Krstak, a popular white wine with a refreshing, easy-to-drink flavor. The crime rate in Montenegro is quite low, making life here very safe. Violent crime is relatively rare compared to other countries. The U.S. Department of State assesses Montenegro as a level one safe country. According to Numbeo, 
The crime index in Montenegro is 26.31%, meaning tourists can enjoy their holidays without worrying about security issues. The Montenegrin government is committed to maintaining public security, and the police forces are well equipped and properly trained. Montenegrins also have a strong sense of community, caring for each other and helping those in need. Montenegro's climate significantly varies by region. The beautiful Adriatic coastline features a typical Mediterranean climate with warm, dry summers and cooler, rainy winters. Inland, the climate transitions to a continental type, especially near the majestic Alps, where winters can be quite cold, making it an ideal destination for snowy winter landscapes. The best time to visit Montenegro is from mid-April to September, when the weather is pleasantly warm, allowing you to enjoy both coastal areas and mountainous terrain. Although small, Montenegro boasts countless spectacular destinations. The old town of Kotor is a medieval town that is preserved intact with ancient city walls. The Bay of Kotor sparkles under the sun, surrounded by majestic mountains. The Ostrog Cave, one of the largest cave systems in Montenegro, offers a guided tour to admire its impressive network of passages and grand halls. For sea lovers, the Blue Cave is an unmissable destination, famous for its crystal clear turquoise water. Sveti Stefan, a 15th century village turned luxury resort, provides an elegant atmosphere mixed with history. Adventure enthusiasts will love the Tara Canyon, the second deepest canyon in the world, offering thrilling activities like whitewater rafting and bungee jumping. A centuries-old weeping willow tree in Montenegro is widely known for its ability to weep water like a spring whenever there's heavy rain. The water stream from the weeping willow reaches a height of about 1.5 meters, resembling a fountain. According to local residents, the tree began weeping water over 20 years ago after heavy rain. This phenomenon attracts tourists from all over the world. While no one has found an exact explanation, some experts and residents believe that an underground water stream flows beneath the roots of the tree, causing the water to pour out. Lake Skadar is one of the largest bird reserves in Europe, home to over 270 bird species, including Dalmatian pelicans, ducks, herons, and egrets. Further towards the coast, the growing colony of flamingos has made their home at the old salt pans of Olchinji. This area, once the largest salt production site in the Mediterranean, has become a habitat for over 500 flamingos and up to 40,000 other birds, making it a paradise for bird enthusiasts and nature lovers. The oldest olive tree in the world, Stara Maslina, is located in the town of Bar, southern Montenegro. This two, zero, zero, zero year old tree remains a fantastic attraction despite being partially burned. Bar also boasts over 100,000 olive trees over 1,000 years old. Montenegro has two airports, one in the capital, Podgorica, and one near the coast in Tivat. Tivat receives more passengers due to its proximity to tourist cities like Kotor and Budva. Montenegro has an excellent bus system, which is the preferred mode of travel for locals and tourists. The country also has a small railway network connecting major cities to the capital. The Belgrade to Bar railway line is one of the most scenic railway lines in Europe, offering beautiful views of lakes, mountains, and gorges. Car rental is a popular way to explore off-the-beaten-path places that public transportation can't reach. With over 300 kilometers of coastline, five national parks, and numerous lakes and rivers, Montenegro offers diverse natural beauty. The Tara River Canyon, the second deepest in the world, is a paradise for thrill-seekers. The Lovchin Mausoleum, the world's tallest mausoleum, offers panoramic views stretching across Italy on a clear day. Montenegro's mountains attract hikers and mountaineers, transforming into a snow-covered paradise for skiing and snowboarding in winter. Thanks to its famous marinas and high-quality tourism services, Montenegro has become a favored luxury resort destination for the elite. Porto Montenegro Marina 
is considered the yachting paradise of the world, with a capacity for over 450 large yachts and a range of luxury hotels and resorts. Sveti Stefan, situated on a private island, is the most luxurious and photographed resort in Montenegro. Montenegro's tourism development is rapid, with the sector contributing significantly to the country's GDP. Since Montenegro initiated its citizenship by investment program in 2018, many millionaires have invested in Montenegro's real estate sector to obtain citizenship. Coastal resorts offer luxury villas and apartments for sale, with prices for high-end apartments starting at 250,000 euros. Compared to Monaco and the French Riviera, Montenegro's real estate market offers attractive opportunities for investment. So there you have it. Montenegro, a stunningly beautiful country where the rules of traditional tourism are turned on their head. Whether you're looking for the ultimate in relaxation on a nude beach, an adventure in some of Europe's most breathtaking landscapes, or a deep dive into rich history and culture, Montenegro has it all. And with that, thanks for watching and make sure to watch our next exciting video.